Decomposition is when you take your whole design challenge and break it up into smaller pieces. This is useful because the project as a whole can have almost an infinite number of solutions, but if you break it down into its component parts, you can brainstorm and solve each one of those individually and then combine them into a total solution. Our client has tasked us with creating a kitchen-themed soap dispenser. So how do you guys think we should break that down? So kind of the whole thing is a kitchen-themed soap dispenser. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I guess we would break it down into subcategories of by functionality. Yeah. So let's imagine, um, like, we need to get every category by itself. So okay. how, how do you guys think is the best way to figure out every single different thing? I mean, we could device. kind of imagine, like, what somebody would do if they were, like, coming into the restaurant to use our soap dispenser and, like, what each of the parts would need to be to, for them to be able to use it successfully. Okay. So this thing is in the back room, mm -hmm. right? Right. Okay. So how do we use it? Right? Well, first the user would, I guess, see it. All right. So this is like a like a user so they've, chart. They've come into the bathroom, right? Yeah. They okay. come into the bathroom. They use the bathroom, and then they come out, and they need to use soap to wash their hands. So they see it. So they. They see it. They approach it. Yeah, because they have to like figure out what it does, mm -hmm. right? The user does something to collect broken yeah. up soap. Collect soap and then wash hands. Mm -hmm. Okay. So from this line of how a user would use it, the steps that a user would take, what kind of different functional functional aspects can we take away from that? Well, I definitely think these two are really important, really big, the breaking the soap and collecting the soap. Mm -hmm. um, so I think those would be two big categories. And so are we talking about like the, the action the user performs or like the part of the dispenser? I guess, I guess. We, could, we should probably include both. Okay. Right? Yeah. So, like, so we could brainstorm different solutions under each one. Mm -hmm. So like the part could be like a crank or a handle, but the action mm -hmm. could be like a push or a pull. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And then like the soap breaking action? Yeah. Okay. And then mm -hmm. would These this... Are probably because like, this is like our big category, right? Mm -hmm. And so these are like subcategories, right? Yeah. Okay, cool, just so we can organize it a bit. Yeah. Okay, and then would like another line over here be the soap collecting mechanism and the soap collecting action? Would that go underneath here? I mean, I guess it could. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like that's like time-wise logical. Yeah. yeah. So, so it would be the soap breaking, soap collecting mechanism. Okay. So we're going to create another branch over here that deals with more of the structure of the device and how it's all held right. in place. So if we think about the different aspects of the device, what parts of it do we need to like create? Well, there has to be some sort of structure that holds the device to whatever we decide to mount it on. There has to be some sort pieces. of mounting point. OK, yeah. so mounting. Yeah, yeah, so mounting. Yeah. So the mounting method itself can be split into two categories, which mm -hmm. is mounting of device to bathroom, and then, and then mounting of soap, soap to, to device. The, right. I guess part of another aspect of our design would be how to maintain it, how to refill it. Because we definitely want it to be able to be mm -hmm. reused. Yeah, like if this is the flowchart for the user, there also is like a flowchart for the people who are maintenancing mm -hmm. it. So like they would have to have some way to um, replace, get into this, the mounting of the soap to yeah. refill it. So okay. that's probably down here. Like below that. Right. Below yeah. So, so refill method? Like, yeah. yeah. And then the maintenance method maybe too. Like, so like for cleaning? cleaning. Yeah. Um, so we have, there... we're in the bathroom. We have a mounting method that mounts the device to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. As part of that device, we have something that has the soap. Okay. Mm -hmm. So refill method and clean method. Then once we have all the infrastructure in place, we have a way to break the soap down, what action that takes, how to collect it, and what action that takes. So what we've done today is decomposition, which is taking our big design challenge and breaking it up into smaller design challenges so we can better brainstorm solutions for each individual challenge.